Hookah, or Habli Babli, is a popular social activity in South Africa where young groups of people can be found sitting in circles, passing around a pipe, and giving off large puffs of smoke. Regulars, who spend their weekends in the Fordsburg hookah lounges, speak about what they think are the health effects of smoking. I started at a very early age, because since I'm an Arab, hookah is basically like tradition. It is worse than cigarettes because it has more nicotine and you smoke it longer than cigarettes. For me, it's, it's culture. I, I smoke to enjoy it. And it's just something I like doing. It's something I like. Abbas has been smoking for many years and hasn't felt any health effects. Uh, I've been smoking happily for about eight, seven years, seven to eight years. Uh, it's our kind of culture. So where I grew up, people were smoking it. My, elder, my oldest brother he used to smoke it all the time and uh, I just smoked it one time and then I liked it and kept it smoking. I've been told that it has some lung effects and stuff, but I like it. Hookah is worse than cigarettes. Maybe if the study says so, but smoking cigarettes, like it's messy and it's smelly and all that, but when you're smoking hookah, it's nice flavor. And uh, this place, as you can see, it's nice chilled vibe. When you're in here, you smoke, it's amazing. Dr. Fahim Lahur, who practices in Fordsburg, explains some of the side effects of excessive smoking. Hookah and habdi smoking, they st- um, contrary to popular belief, still has nicotine um, in high amounts. So you still have all those same risks as cigarette smoking in terms of uh, affecting the lungs. It also has all the carcinogens as well. So it's a high risk for both mouth cancer, lung cancer, as much as smoking. If anything, cigarettes have a filter, which hookah doesn't. Um, people assume the water in the hookah bites serve as a filter, which it doesn't. The other thing is in a hookah in- inhalation, you generally inhale a lot more and for a lot longer than a normal cigarette inhalation. So you're actually taking a lot more nicotine. Even though these regulars know the risks, they aren't faced. I've never seen anyone or heard of anyone having cancer by ochre, So, And I know a lot of people who smoke ochre. I said I'll try to smoke less, but I don't think I can quit. It's, my, it's in my blood. I do know that uh, there's some health issues with the lungs, but I did not know that the hook causes cancer and stuff. But if the study says so, I can argue with that. I know it won't affect the way I smoke hookah because, you see, basically I, uh, I smoke hookah five days a week maybe, but I exercise, I take care of my body. But this, with this information, it's just knowledge that I will have, but it won't change anything. Hookah smoking is not regulated in the country and is actually a health hazard. Yet people still assume that it is safe or a better alternative to smoking cigarettes.